Hey everybody, it's Army Guy E8. Welcome back to World of Tanks Console. Today we're here in Himmelsdorf, and we're here to take a look at the new premium British Tier 8 heavy tank, the Caliban, or Caliban. I've heard it both ways. There are six British Tier 8 heavy tanks, and this is the fifth premium in this class. We took this tank into battle 80 times. We had a low 63% hit rate. We didn't one mark it, but we did earn an ace tanker. So here's the bluff, the bottom line up front. I don't like this tank. It does come with two gun options you can choose between, and it has very high alpha damage and penetration with both Hesh and APCR. It has strong turret and frontal armor, great gun depression, and okay acceleration. But the gun handling on this tank kills any chance it has of being a good tank. It has a very long reload, about 60 seconds if you're using the two-shot auto reloader. It has horrible aim times, horrible accuracy, horrible shell velocity, and on-the-move dispersions. The arch of these rounds is so laughable that it's nearly impossible to hit anything outside a couple hundred meters unless it's sitting completely still. Other than being a meme tank, I see absolutely no purpose for this tank to be in the game. Let's take a look at the details. Look out! Are you crazy? <laughs> if anybody asks, I was here with you the whole day. Let's look at the details. The tank's origins. The Caliban is a project of the Royal Military College developed in 1962. The vehicle certainly was not pretty, but it was supposed to feature excellent movement characteristics reliable frontal armor and a powerful gun. The project turned out to be too complicated and expensive, and its numerous innovations did not guarantee any advantages over the production vehicles in development at the time. Work was discontinued at the drafting stage and no prototypes were built. This premium vehicle has a 10% XP bonus and a 50% silver bonus. All right, we're gonna look at the numbers, and here you're gonna see the detailed Base difference with no modifiers added to the commander of the tank between the two guns. On the left, you have the single fire gun, and on the right, you have the two shot auto reloader. The speed! This tank goes 33 kilometers an hour. The guns are a Quebec Foxtrot 6 inch Caliban. The single shot gun is a Mark II variant. The rate of fire starting out for the single fire gun is 2.67 rounds a minute. For the two-shot auto loader, it says 4.17 rounds a minute. I'm still a little iffy on the math. Wargaming used to figure that one out. Reload time for the single fire gun is 22 and a half seconds for one round. For the two-shot auto loader, it's 40 seconds for the first round, 25 seconds for the second round. The aim time is 4.1 seconds for both guns. The inner clip reload time for the two-shot auto reloader is 3.75 seconds between each round. The accuracy for the single shot is better at .52. For the two shot auto reloader, it's .58. The gun depression for both guns is minus 10 degrees. Gun elevation is 12 degrees. The ammunition, the alpha ammo is Hesh, and it'll pin about 180 millimeters of enemy armor. The premium Bravo ammo is APCR or AP, I've heard it reported both ways, and it'll pin about 292 millimeters of enemy armor. The damage from the Hesh rounds can cause around 850 hit points into the enemy on average if you pen them. The premium Bravo ammo will hit for about 600 hit points on average. Here you can see the gun details for the way we have our tank set up with the eight skill commander, food, and the equipment. All right, the overall difference between these two guns is damage per minute. That's something you need to take into consideration. For the single fire gun, Wargaming says it's 2,270 hit points per minute. For the two shot auto reloader, they figure it's 2,763 hit points per minute. I'm still a little iffy on that one myself. All right, here's something you really do need to take into consideration. Ammo velocity. The Alpha ammo is Hesh and it has a velocity of only 354 meters per second. It's like a little kid throwing a softball. 
The Bravo APCR ammo has a velocity of only 500 meters per second. The shell velocity is so slow for either round that it has an extreme arch to it, and the flight path eliminates almost any chance of taking blind shots or leading a tank. Let's go take a look at the armor. The frontal turret armor thickness on this tank is between 45 and 250 millimeters. The frontal hull armor thickness is between 52 and 130 millimeters. All right, here's a little gameplay tip or trick that you should employ with this tank. If you find yourself in a hull down position and you can't escape and you're waiting on a reload, move your gun up and down and you're going to see that it kind of hides your cupola. That way the enemy doesn't have such an easy time penetrating you. Let's go take a look at the commander. All right, we're running an eight skill commander in our tank and it's Iris Amir. The skills that she has is sixth sense, situational awareness, camo expert, born leader, rapid loading, and steady aim. Run and gun and snapshot. We still haven't decided on that ninth skill yet, but those first eight are pretty much standard on any commander that I use, except tank destroyer commanders. The equipment that she's running is optics, advanced gun laying drive, advanced reload, which is really important on this tank. It helps you change between the two types of ammo, depending on what tank you have in your sights. And of course, enhanced targeting information. We're also running food to get that boost we need on those long reloads or to help with extending the view range. This one is beef stew. Mm, that could be okay. I hope there's some kind of candy in here. Yeah. Do you prefer to deliver damage consistently or in burst? The British Tier 8 Caliban Heavy Tank is a close range support specialist capable of unleashing an astounding amount of damage thanks to its two super powerful gun options. Use the peak and boom haul down tactics to maximize your efficiency. This tank's turret and 10 degrees of gun depression make it an ideal vehicle for defensive tactics in uneven terrains. Use the single shotgun, it'll always give you tremendous alpha damages, while the auto reloader can give you a burst of up to 1,700 hit points of damage. However, keep an eye on how you use your rounds and be near cover so you can fall back and reload when you need to. Use your sloped and sturdy turret to support the front line with confidence. See which tanks are being targeted and finish the job with your high alpha damage guns. Don't rush into the front line. Use this tank methodically for the best results. It also comes with a pretty cool optional skin you can get for about 3,000 gold, I think. That's it. Those are the nut. Hey, is that my motorcycle? Make sure and stick around and check out the battle we're going into right now. Have fun storming the castle! This is pretty good. This might be a good map for us. I plan on going straight up the hill. I'm going to turn around and go right up the hill. I want to get two rounds loaded. We've been playing the single shot for a while today. We switched over to the second shot. Benefit for this two, the two-shot auto-reloader if you only use the one shot at a time then you can stick to the 20 second reload and have one round and let's take a peek anybody up here there is there's a vk all right not bad one tank um but you only want to fire one shot at a time the second shot the long reload shot you don't want to take that unless it's a oh no <laughs> back up don't push me Woo. The VK-3002 coming in full speed, not stopping. We're not going to be able to take a shot until another five seconds. As I was saying, we don't want to fire that second round unless it's a guaranteed KO. Right there, pow! 600, they've got the KO. I would have taken the second shot there, but did not need to. They got the KO. I got 600 damage. Pretty good. Not bad for one shot. AP. It says APCR, but I hear it's AP ammo. We're going to get that second round loaded. We're not going to take a shot until we get it. 
Unless we can get a kill shot. What are we doing? Looking at the sky. 10 degrees gun depression. Works pretty good, usually. The IS-6 taking a shot. 617. Well, I'm going to take the kill shot. Get the kill shot. No. Oh. <laughs> that looked like it missed. That looked like a high right side. All right. We got a full reload now. You've got to be very careful. You don't want to take both shots unless you know you've got at least 30 seconds to 45, 50 seconds to get a reload in. You don't want to get caught behind the power curve and just using that 40 second shot every time. You want to be able to get that one, keep it in your pocket, and keep firing just one shot at a time. We got a few bots down in the valley, and we're going to wait for the reload. We got one round loaded. The AT-15 is looking a little aggressive. He's coming in. Hopefully, he's looking left, looking at the enemy. We've got 10 seconds left before we can provide support. I can't fire right now. I will not fire that first round unless it's an absolute must. Very nice. They got the eight hit points off of them. We're reloaded. Two seconds, one second. Now aim. Four seconds of aim time. 899 health. Oh, we set him on fire. Burn. <laughs> I love a barbecue. Got it. That was very nice. Very lucky. Very nice. The Black Prince coming in, being aggressive. Bounced a shot. Is he going to be able to pen us? It doesn't look like the Black Prince is going to pen us. We're going to get that second shot loaded. One second. Pow. 638. Pretty good pen. Pretty good pen. Waiting on that second round to be loaded. Not much we can do. Just going to sit here and bob around. There are me, a tank destroyer, and two other red tanks up here. This is pretty good. We're a little safe. Who's this coming in from the right? Oh, no. It's a full health VK. We're at 1,500 health right now. Now we're down to 900. Takes nearly 600 off of us himself. Lower plate for 547. I can't shoot. I don't want to shoot. I don't have enough to finish him off. So to take this shot would be a waste. It would be an awful waste. It would, it would not allow us to get in another shot. So we want to take a quick run away. See if we can get away from the Black Prince. He misses. Let's get in the reload. Let's back it up. All right, we're ready to fire. Who's coming around? Who wants some sugar from daddy? Come on and get it. Black Prince taking a hit. 4, 6, 55. Somebody shot us from the backside, it looked like. Hoping to get some ram damage in there. Nothing. 15 seconds on the reload. I think we'll keep bouncing shots from the Black Prince. The VK left. He went up to destroy the tank destroyer. Now we got to be careful. Now we're going to get pushed. I got a feeling from two, maybe three red tanks. We're going to get the KO into the Black Prince here. Pow! Very nice. VK coming in. 787. So we definitely need two shots. Minute man, full health. You got to be kidding me. Hits us for about 350. He's backing up. He's scared of us. That's a good thing. What was that? VK coming in. Full health. Somebody's going to get it. Pow. 657. Get back. Back, back, back. We want to get another round loaded. We want two shots in. We're going to take two shots to get loaded into the VK. All right, we're going to back up, create some distance between us and the enemy. We want to make sure that we get all the time we need for the load. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Oh, no, I fired it. Point three seconds too soon. Can we ram him? Oh, no, that's it. Unfortunate. We fired point three seconds too soon. You got to be kidding me. 18 seconds till we can get in one shot. Now there's another tank coming up from the left side. Three versus one. Twelve seconds to we... The reload time... I tell you what. <laughs> we were following that reload to the millisecond. It seemed like it just slowed down on us right there at the very end. We were counting it down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Never got the second round loaded. Two green tanks, four red tanks. Unfortunate. We did pretty good. 5,660 damage. Let's see what this guy's doing. Alpha 44, low on health. 10 hit points left. Let's watch it till the end of the battle. <coughs> Excuse me. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe that. What's he got? Oh, full health, Minute Man. All right. I 
I don't have high hopes for this A44. Missed. Who do we have left? We have a heavy tank left on the battlefield. Heavy tank is not... What's he going to do? Is he going to cap? I don't know. Hit the Minuteman. Good pen. 256. The Alpha 44 doing his thing. The Minuteman seems to be kind of out of it. Not really engaging. If he was The Minuteman should just ram him. Just drive on down there and ram him. Oh. Three versus one, and he's gone. All right, what do we got left? We got a, a heavy, metal hero, heavy metal hero, Alpha Mike X-Ray, Mike 449. Woo! That's a long name for a tank. Good thing I don't know what the Alpha Mike X-Ray stands for. That would have been even longer. All right, it's a tier 8 tank. He's pretty good health. 1048 left on hit points. We did a lot of damage. We had one shot left. We played everything just the way we needed it. I don't think we bounced or missed any shots. We just, just fired too soon on that final round. Looks like he's going all the way up to the castle. Ah, uh, close. Five, six, six, zero. Right there. We got shot once on the left, once in the gun mantlet, once on the right side. A little went on the tailgate. Little bitty hole back there. What's he going to do? Four versus one. It would be nice to see him win this. I'd hate to lose with that much damage. It's a lot of damage though, 5600 for a tier 8 heavy with that derpy gun. <laughs> oh, all right, what's he got? He's got somebody down there. Getting spotted. Bounce the shot. Minuteman. Oh, Minuteman's hiding. I don't think he's going to be able to pen him. Not from there. He's if he's auto lock and he'll definitely not pen him. He's going to get him just right in the right in the uh, enemy tank. It's aiming center mass on the living tank, but it's hitting the, the burning tank. Got to be careful. One of the other red tanks might come up. But they're all pretty slow tanks left. Oh, oh, shot from the left. Still not hitting him. Needs to move. Needs to go down the hill. Oh, we got hit. Line shots from the left side. Somebody's right there. I don't know where they could be firing from. The base? The spawn, I should say. The castle? I don't know. Got him right in the cupola. Got him in the sandbag, too. <laughs> At least he's going down the hill now. That's a good thing. Ba -ba. Somebody's probably coming up. I would bet he's going to run into somebody. What is it? Oh, a minute, man. Is he not shooting him? 
It's the back of the Miniman. He's AFK. He's not shooting. He's not fighting. The Minuteman quit the game. Can we win this? We're they're capping 50 seconds on the cap. Holy smokes. He's gonna get a KO into the Minuteman. 38 seconds left until the cap. Two red tanks on the cap, so there's one still running around somewhere. <clears throat> Oh, one shot VK. He didn't pen him. Come on, get a shot. You got the lower plate, it looks like. Aim it, aim it, aim it. Wow, if he gets his KO, only 10 seconds left on the base cap. Red team. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Six seconds left on the cap. We lose. No. Oh, you got to be kidding. They capped. Well, it was a good battle. We made a pretty good effort. We did everything the way we wanted to do it. We just fired too soon. What did we get? 5,600 damage. Three kills. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Ace tanker. In a loss. And we didn't make the top three on the leaderboard either. Sweet!